The way I got to meet Mike, which is not surprising, is that he and his wife are involved in a lot of nonprofit uh, groups and organizations, and my wife has served in a lot of those same organizations. And in Omaha community, you tend to see the same faces and meet the same people at a lot of those events. Uh, the community is very philanthropic and certainly Mike and Lynn and her foundation are. So just what he has achieved that I know of has made a tremendous amount of difference in the community as well. And then on a personal level, I managed to to uh, get along with him as best anyone can with Mike, of course, and do different things with him. But he's always been very benevolent and thoughtful and giving, and it's just very hard to put your finger on how much that has amounted to in the city of Omaha, but it's just been tremendous. Well, first of all, Mike has served on a number of boards in our community, from Bellevue University through the Salvation Army. The list is long. Every single organization where he has served on the board is better off for him being there. Because with Mike, what you see is what you get. There's no phony politeness. And often you have to leave it to Mike to bring up a, maybe an unpleasant issue in the boardroom, an issue that management should pay attention to. But maybe the environment is such that it takes a person like Mike to bring it up. And usually, I'd say probably every time, the organization is better off from hearing that message. And therefore, when he leaves the board, every organization is in better shape than when he joined it. We've had a long friendship, uh, many lunches together, and served on many civic boards. And uh, Mike is an individual who speaks his mind, uh, as well as commit his resources to good things. He, uh, he's been a terrific citizen of the entire area. If you needed a donation to help kids or to help the community, Mike was there. You didn't even have to uh, uh, ask uh, twice. You didn't have to beat on him. He just stepped up and said, sure, I'll do that. So um, uh, he has a record of civic accomplishment, which in my opinion, uh, is probably unparalleled in terms of uh, our generation. He's made a huge impact on many nonprofits. What's impressed me is not only the wonderful business he built, he built an amazing restaurant brand and continued to start other companies, but um, even more respectful is the help he's given other folks, sitting on a variety of boards, helping people develop their companies uh, without wanting much in return. Uh, and then he went on to do uh, a ton of nonprofit work and uh, basically uh, got big shoes to fill. Mike is very generous. He's got certain pet charities that he really works out very hard. He worked at the Salvation Army, worked at Clues, worked at other things. But Mike is a very generous individual that sometimes flew under the radar. But in terms of a role model within the community, he is very generous to all that come in contact with him. I've always used Mike as an example of a true entrepreneur. He can look for opportunities and really help develop and grow people. He had a uh, group of people that he had in his business that uh, are better off because of Mike Simmons and he's been very, very generous to the community but also generous to his family. One of the most philanthropic people I've ever met in my life. I don't know that I've ever seen anybody as willing to give uh, as much of his time and money as, as Mike. and. Uh, especially with the success that he's had. I think it's a tribute to his character and the type of person that he is. Uh, never once have I ever seen him look for attention or ask for payback or anything like that. He truly is a believer in, you know, good things have happened to him and he likes to see things, good things happen to good, good people. I remember us talking one time and I think the best advice I think we both agreed on was the worst uh, decision was the one you never make. Mike, um, how's he impact the community? Well, I mean, I think Mike's done a great job impacting the community by, by coming up with ideas that he wants to make happen and just once he got, starts an idea, he goes full force and makes and doesn't stop until it's completed. Um, he's not afraid to ask, make the ask for funds. And uh, he, a lot of, a lot of his things are, are, are turn out really well for um, 
he, I'm just thinking like Merry Makers, you know, it's like he was the one that was the main guy behind Merry Makers, keeping it going and, and always, you know, um, finding the who to honor. Um, he's a big idea guy. Right, he's a big picture guy. As I was leaving work today, telling him I had, I was going to go shoot a birthday video, um, the owner's wife goes, oh, I know him, him and his wife Lynn to help me do a fundraiser. They are the nicest people in the world. And it's all I've ever heard from anybody that knows who he is. So uh, I am Mike's physician, um, and I met Mike about uh, five years ago when he came to see me at the Nebraska Medical Center. Um, and, you know, M Mike and I have been intimately involved together in his health. Uh, but getting involved in his health has also led to some business arrangements between the two of us. So Mike has become uh, my main investor uh, along with uh, another good friend of ours, Mike Kasling, to help develop Members MD, a company that my wife and I uh, have gotten involved with and run with them. Uh, Mike has been instrumental in a number of things in helping us uh, in our family, but most importantly what we've seen is how much he helps this community. And it's just become an inspiration for us and our family and what we talk about with our kids and how to be a leader um, and how to make a difference. One thing I truly cherish about Mike is his love for his family, Lynn, his children, his grandchildren, everything he does day in and day out is centered around his family and taking care of them. Um, just his story, his background story alone, uh, growing up, you know, in the Burger King franchise is just, you know, a huge inspirational story. Um, just the American dream, you know, Mike's living it, you know, that, that's Mike. Um, and just that story alone, you know, can inspire people when they hear it. You know, the kids that I work with, you know, when they kind of hear just a little bit of, touch on a little bit of story of Mike and kind of who he is and where he came from and where he's at now, is, you know, is a huge inspiration. You know, some of those kids, you know, walked in the same footsteps, you know, working a part-time job, um, flipping burgers, you know, stuff like that. So um, he's an inspiration to so many people across the board and the community, especially where I'm at now. He's been um, a huge inspiration, a huge help um, in all in all different areas. Um, so I definitely wouldn't be um, as successful as successful as I've been um, without the help of Mike, for sure. One, Mike was a very successful businessman. He created a great business based on his Burger King franchises. And he's a real entrepreneur. So he's been very helpful with younger people that want to get into business. He gives them good advice. He will co-invest with them if he thinks it's a good opportunity and that that, would, that may help getting them launched. And uh, I think a number of small businesses in Omaha have benefited from that. He's also a very generous person. And he does it very anonymously. There are a number of people in town that benefit from him giving them a little extra attention, maybe a little extra money when they really needed it. I, I, I guess he's impacted my life by um, making me realize that things like always work out no matter what. I mean, just he just he doesn't worry, he just does it and worries about it later. He doesn't, <laughs> doesn't worry about anything, he just does it, you know, whatever he does. Mike, you've always done a great job uh, fostering the growth in people. The restaurant managers and assistant managers had a real career with you, and you rewarded them with uh, great pay, generosity, and benefits, and I think every one of them would thank you now if they had the opportunity. Uh, but you also did a lot for Judy, Lexi, and I when you uh, granted us the interest in Simmons Properties. Made a huge financial difference in my life, and uh, I appreciate that. The way that you uh, worked with Jeff Bremer to allow him to buy the Taco Johns was a, a great thing uh, for him, and showed your willingness to support other people in the growth of the restaurant industry. So uh, thank you for those things. He became uh, a, a good friend and uh, supporter for the Cancer Center. Uh, he served on the uh, board of the uh, Fred and Pamela Buffett Cancer, it used to be called the Epley Cancer Center. Uh, and he also helped us uh, develop some fundraising activities for the cancer. He has been very active in Kicks for Cure, supporting that as a, 
as a uh, fundraising event and also a community event for soccer and uh, Liz Carnes's memory, Liz's legacy. Um, and then uh, went on in his own and started a BK, B Cancer for Kids uh, uh, annual event uh, through his Burger King restaurants where he gave away literally uh, gifts and prizes uh, to uh, people throughout his restaurants and got all his restaurants involved in raising money to support uh, um, cancer for uh, pediatric cancer research and, and uh, support. So he's been incredibly uh, active and a, a great friend and a good supporter all these years. Um, no, he's a great businessman, um, a great person to have in Omaha as far as doing civil things for people in Omaha. He puts his name behind, I can't tell you how many volunteer um, programs, how many requests they get weekly for their support. And he has supported some very specific things here in Omaha and has done very well at them. And he's a, um, a friend of a friend of a friend that you just, um, if you ever need anything, you call Mike, he'll help you. The, the family that was created in the Simmons restaurant, you know, joining the organization is like joining a, a family, you know, and uh, even as recently, here recently, I still run into some of the store managers, you know, and they talk about what they miss. And again, it's being part of that family, you know, and Mike just, just developed that, you know, the fact that he cared for people in such a way. He, over the, all, the, all the years, all the work he's done in all the different charity events and all of the uh, boards he's been willing to be on from the Salvation Army to Bellevue College and I hear those a lot when I talk to him and he gets passionate about it. I mean, it's like it's his own business and he, he wants people to perform it at uh, a very high level. That's what he expects of himself. That's what he expects others to do. You know, I, I just look forward to seeing him all the time and um, really respect what he has to say. Um, both he and Lynn have been honored by every organization. Um, and that's, you know, I'm not saying that from a work point of view. I'm just saying it's so respectful. They're so generous and so nice on um, that type of level and also a personal level. So they really have impacted me. And, and I do like that they speak their mind and say um, what's on it. And well, he's been a tremendous community leader. Um, he's been very philanthropic uh, with their, both his time and money, very generous with his time and with his money. And uh, has, just, has just been there to help people and help the community whenever he has a chance. Yeah, you know, Mike's an uh, you know, incredible uh, fellow. He's been you know, wonderfully uh, recognized throughout the community for so much that he does uh, uh, to so many different organizations. Um, a, a wonderful personality, uh, somebody who uh, literally goes across uh, the town or sits in a restaurant and everybody comes up and says hello. He, he really knows everybody. He's had uh, connections with everybody, been friends with a lot of people throughout this community. and. Uh, he's just a wonderful, uh, almost bigger than life character. I think he's one hell of a generous man. Um, I currently serve as executive director of the Merrymakers Association and uh, he not only contributes as a very generous donor financially to our association, but his passion for our seniors who live in the senior communities and to make a difference in the quality of their life. For that, I, I can speak also on behalf of our board of directors that we respect and appreciate and just love the fact that he believes in our mission and continues to support us. I mean, there's just so much respect for, the, for him. I have never been able to address him by his first name, <laughs> which is odd, and because uh, he always told me to. Um, but it's just it's this level of respect that I just can't. Even my daughters only know him as Mr. Simmons, and my parents even call him Mr. Simmons. Nobody calls him by his first name that I know. All my friends, Mr. Simmons, Mr. Simmons, and like I said, that was just. Uh, you know, for the first time I met him, it was, you know, because I was intimidated and that. And then once I started getting the respect, I, I just could never go back. And 
Now it's just Mr. S. Mr. S or Sir <laughs> is how I address him now. But yeah, everybody I know only knows him as Mr. Simmons. <laughs> so. I think a big impact came just recently, about a year ago. I was fortunate enough to get appointed and elected into the Businessmen's Hall of Fame here in Omaha. And uh, Mike was a previous winner of this award. And out of the blue, I bumped into him one night after the, the appointment was announced and the ceremony had taken place. And he said, my, my wife and I, Lynn, we, we want to throw a party for you and invite the people you want to invite. We want to have it at our house. Uh, I said, well, that's so generous of you. And he, he, I said, uh, what I'll do is I'll put a list together and then I'll pass it by you. And if there's, you know, some people on there that, uh, you know, you know, this is your house and uh, that you may not have a comfort level with, take them off. He says, if you invite them, we have a comfort level. And then I said, well, what are we going to do about the food? Let's not make it burgers and, and pizza, okay? He said, you pick the caterer your choice. And he said, whatever you want, that's it. So we passed a couple things back and forth, but the party was given uh, all the people who were invited, everybody showed up. Uh, the food spread was uh, mass quantities of things that everybody likes. And uh, the cars were parked properly and it was a rainy night that night. I know so a lot of people that drove the nice cars were worried about the cars, but uh, they're well taken care of and uh, they just opened their, their hearts and their house up to me and the friends that I invited and family. And uh, I thought that was pretty important. He, uh, he was the only one that did it, so uh, that, that made it special. A couple years ago, I actually sent Mike an email at Christmas time, and uh, I, had to, I had to tell him, I said that the, one of the most influential people in my life, um, you know, other than a teacher in high school and my own dad, is, has actually been Mike Simmons. Um, he, uh, he's all, Mike's always been willing to take time to talk to me about personal matters, and uh, not even related to business or his property or um, you know, things that involve, you know, immediate um, vendor client relationship uh, he talked to me just like I was a, a colleague of his a colleague of his and that meant a lot to me when I sent him that email back at Christmas time I told him as much that I you know I hope one day that um, that I have the ability to be as philanthropic and giving as him and touch as many people in the community and um, and I hope one day that he can step back and look at himself in the mirror and, and say I, I did a lot of good and I, I told him that and I meant that. He did send me an email back and tell me that it meant a lot to him and he was very appreciative of that. And that meant a lot to me. We thank the world of both of you and you've had such a positive impact on our lives and we are always so excited when we have dinner plans and travel plans and we enjoy every minute that we spend together and look forward to many, many more. You mean the world to us. Thank you. Your life has taught me much, and it has to do, um, I, I've been inspired by your goodness. Um, you, you always, you have a huge, huge, huge heart, and um, you have reflected and radiated that to so many within our community that, um, it, you know, it doesn't surprise me that you have all the many, many friends that you do. Um, I, I, I wish, I wish everybody had and knows what you know when it comes to friendships because you have lots of those. You, you, you have lots of people that love you and care about you and, um, and enjoy being with you. And, and also, um, uh, it, it's just, it's been, it's been um, you know, like I say, I keep going back to life is a blessing when you consider that you have friends like you and um, personally, I have been inspired by your, your acceptance, um, but also your, your, your drive to persevere. Um, you've always been a man that's determined. Um, <laughs> you, you, you make choices and, um, and you follow through on those choices. And, 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 and that's why I think you have been uh, so successful and so 
much in the demand by just about every board in this community. On, on a personal note, I couldn't thank you more for what you've, uh, what you have been, are, and continue to be for Q's and for particularly Sacred Heart School. He does good anonymously. He doesn't look for the accolades that comes with it. And he loves being able to help people that may be down on their luck or need a little boost to become more successful. Mm -hmm.